Our next presenter is Kushag Ravarma, whose title of um, his three-minute thesis is a 4D advanced benchmarking tool to visualize urban building environmental performance with an integrated retrofit recommendation generator. Buildings, like the one we are in today, continue to remain one of the largest consumers of natural resources. Data suggests that the built environment is responsible for 40% of global greenhouse gas emissions, 79% of all energy, and 61% of all electricity produced in the US comes from burning fossil fuels that release significant amounts of emissions into the atmosphere, causing global warming and contributing to climate change. Moreover, higher population in urban areas calls for construction of larger, more complex buildings that require huge amounts of energy and critical resources like water and construction materials to operate efficiently. It is for this reason why it's important to not only measure and benchmark, but also actively improve the performance of our existing urban buildings. The greenhouse gas protocol divides greenhouse gas emissions into three categories, scope one, scope two, and scope three emissions. Building related scope one emissions are emissions that result from use of fuels on site. For example, use of gasoline or diesel to operate electricity generators, or emissions from the use of refrigerants that are used in our gigantic air conditioning systems. Building-related scope two emissions result from purchased energy. For example, emissions resulting from the electricity, gas, or steam that we purchase from utility providers. Building-related scope three emissions are emissions that are indirect. For example, the emissions that result from extraction, processing, manufacturing, transportation, and installation of construction materials themselves to build the buildings. My research utilizes City of Pittsburgh's building energy benchmarking data to develop an online prototype tool that could share and record all scopes of building-related emissions and water use data with key building stakeholders, including building owners, developers, designers, uh, policymakers, amongst others. The tool would visualize buildings in 3D and will have predictive capabilities to project emissions into the future. And that's why it's called 4D. Time is the fourth dimension. But we don't stop there. The tool will utilize building performance data to generate retrofit recommendations enabling building owners to make appropriate retrofits to their buildings to improve the performance of the buildings and lower their utility costs. After analyzing 48 US cities and states with benchmarking ordinances, I can tell that none of them currently have a tool with such capabilities, but hopefully Pittsburgh will have one soon. Thank you.